So I set up a C sound for games sub forum at the Cabbage Audio Forum recently, and we've been sharing some procedural instruments there. Really simple things, but they're um they're they're kind of fun to make. But I thought I'd put together a simple Unity scene and throw in some weather. So I've got this basic scene here with some rainfall. It's basically just some terrain. I'm using um, particle system for the rain, and I've bunched together loads of different mountains. Uh, the main camera is right there in the center and I'm controlling the movement of the main camera with the mouse so I can move around the scene with the mouse. I can change the intensity of the rainfall using the up and down arrows. It's very simple stuff. And I can create some thunder and lightning. Well, basically the thunder is taken care of by sea sound and lightning is done with just changing the intensity of the main direction of light that's contained in the scene. The C sound instruments are quite simple. They're there on the forum. You can download them. What I've done is I've taken Ian's rain and thunder and I put it together with some um, wind that I had written myself. I put them all together into the same into the same C sound orchestra, and I combined all the uh, real time parameters. So when I brought that script into Unity using C sound Unity. Um, we can then see that we have access to all of these parameters so we can change things as we're so we can change things in experiment so let me play the game it is like this so if you can hear that okay so that's just the basics so I can yeah I can move around I can use a um, up and down buttons to increase the rain you hear better if I turn down the wind level altogether. There you can hear the rain, so I can increase that, I can decrease that. can add some thunder as well, although thunder works better with some wind, I think. So I can press the space bar for thunder. This is pretty bad. I mean, the audio is quite good, I think. Oh, well, it's, it's pretty reasonable, but the uh, implementation of the actual lightning is pretty bad. As you see. No, actually, I like the thunder. The thunder works quite well in in with the thunder. And I have a little bit of a, a random... Um, there's a random time interval between the lightning and the thunder. Uh, I should probably be setting the distance should be zero, perhaps. I'll try that. Yeah, it's got more balls. Um, the yeah you can change any of these things down here you can increase the amplitude of to some of the higher bands in the noise if you want to make it a little bit more dramatic uh, what else am I doing yeah so the the noise of the or the frequency of the, the lowest frequency in the wind which is just basically a white noise going through a low-pass filter. I'm taking the... I'm randomly changing the cutoff frequency of that filter, and then I'm sending that frequency to Unity, and I'm using that to control the direction in which the rain falls. So when the low-pass filter is quite... Differ when the cutoff frequency is quite high, this wind will be going more um, towards the horizontal. And when it's quite low, when it's just quite low rumble, it's going to just fall straight out of the sky. Um, the density of the rainfall as well matches the, the sounds that we hear as well. So the, the, the frequency at which the raindrop sounds are, are generated as well. So there you go. The whole project is available on the Cabbage Audio Forum if anybody wants to try it out. Cheers.